Hey YouTube, I just received my June bookworm box, um, the same day that I got shipping information for my July bookworm box. I did have to email bookworm last week sometime to let them know that I had yet to receive my June box. I know that they're sometimes late sending things out. I've actually thought about unsubscribing, um, simply because they're late sending things out and whatever, but their customer service is pretty good, so... I decided that I would probably try to hang on for a little while longer because I really like what they do for different charities. So, without further ado, I have the June Bookworm box. And let's see what we got. The first item it looks like it's a tote bag from Book Friends. When the book ends, the fun begins at Book Friends. So it's just tote bag, like one of those reusable grocery store bags. That's cool. Oh, I just cut my arm on oh. Bookworm box socks, which I think I got a pair of these before, but I got another pair, so that's pretty fun. I haven't worn them, I don't think, but there's, the socks are different. So, you have that one that just says, good deeds, great reads. Bookworm box and then the cute stuff. It has a little one. Don't mind me, I have a really bad headache today because the weather is crazy and I didn't eat lunch at work, so. I'm guessing that's why I do not feel fantastic. Um, just some swag, different bookmarks and things like that. The usual. I'm still in the box to be me. Okay, we also have this, which is, oh, like an emery board. A bookworm box emery board with a mirror on it. On the other side, that's kind of neat. Right. And the two books I got this month are, oh, it looks like there's something in this one. Um, Okay, so the two books I got this month are Dream Chaser by Angie Stanton. The back says, Willow's life has never been normal. Her parents are modern day hippies who throw paint and bake questionable brownies. Her little sister acts like a vampire and now Willow has landed a lead in a musical opposite her former best friend Eli McAvoy. Eli has changed since the summer night Willow abandoned. Not only has he grown in inches, but he possesses a new confidence, as well as a giant chip on his gorgeous shoulders. Willow can't keep her eyes off of him. Not that she'd ever admit it. Eli doesn't seem to suffer the same affliction. Their director is quirky, Broadway choreographer Tyson Scott, who loves to mess with Willow and Eli's undeniable chemistry. Plus, the other kids in the show aren't thrilled to see her, and they harass Willow to the point she's ready to go play in traffic. Add the world's worst stage kiss, and Willow is in the eye of a perfect storm. After a late night romp in the back of Eli's car, the kiss is under control. But now, just when Willow thinks she has her life under control, a curveball comes in the form of her greatest fear. Will she face a new challenge or take the easy way out and run for her life? And will Eli be there to help or turn his back on her for good? So, that looks good. It says, heart, humor, and heat. Alright, so that looks like it's interesting. Another author I've never heard of, so that's a good thing. Oh wait, and they're all signed. The bookworm back box books are all signed, which is neat. The next book, or the other book I got, was Ink and Lies, which looks awesome. The cover looks really nice. And this is by S.L. Jennings. No, scratch that. Too cheesy. Oh, wait. From international best-selling romance novelist Hugh Hope Hughes, Comes a gripping, heartfelt tale of two lovers fighting for their freedom to, no, scratch that, too cheesy. Two people torn apart by the tumultuous tides of life only to discover refuge in WTF. What does that even mean? Delete. Two people confused as shit as to where they should be and who they should love and none of this means a damn thing because it's all lies. Lies. I'm not hope used. I'm not some fierce woman romance machine. Hell, I'm not even a woman. I'm a liar. And while I refuse to be, believe my own BS, deceit masked and heartfelt 
phrases of love and devotion, I want to make her believe them. Because maybe, just maybe, if she can find the soul within my words, she'll be able to find the truth scribbled on my heart. You see, I once lived with a perfect plot twist. I just never expected to actually live it. This is my story. Well, maybe her story. I just wish I could make it our story. The one I'm still writing. Okay. Um, that's not confusing at all. It looks interesting. The cover is pretty. They say you never judge a book by its cover, but I like the cover. So, I hope it is interesting. We shall see. I have nothing else to say. I know I just made a video yesterday, so I am going to go and work on my homework because I have tons of it. I'm in my last week of my class. Yay! But I have two chapters to read and a 15 page paper to write and discussion stuff to do by next Sunday. So I'm gonna hop to it.